So the ESG Solutions team are all about helping our customers be more sustainable whilst we do some good for the environment and the planet and contribute to hopefully some great solutions for our customers. So this challenge was based on a lot of conversations around air quality that we had because we're focusing on health and safety and air quality is something that comes up for all of our customers. And I remembered the Innovate for Change challenge and the idea that came out about air quality in the workplace. So I reached out to Pete from Design Spark and we started the challenge. Part of our mission at Design Spark is to promote and engage with engineers to help them think and design more sustainably, and design more responsibly for the world that we live in. So today I'd say there's two really interesting objectives. The first is to basically look at this isolated example of how to make solder filtration better, but then to try and understand how that can be applied wider. So the engineers that we brought together today come from various backgrounds and experience. Engineering is a solution and it's a way of helping others and making the world a better place in general with all of the ideas that we can have, like have a positive impact. I'm happy with the team that I've been working with. They seem very knowledgeable and as a university student, I think I can really learn from them. It's a really interesting area that this project's looking at. And it's really nice to work with some young people. You know, I'm a seasoned engineer. I'm quite excited to see what ideas they come up with. So I guess the really important thing is to try and understand what happens with a soldering station and then, as it were, to deconstruct it, how that airflow is managed and indeed where we would put the sensor within it, but also that it can be easily incorporated into the technology or the fancy word retrofitted, because that way we can learn what truly connected and smart devices mean. It's Sunday. The dinner's on, the washing's on, the 3D print's on. It's all on. Today, we brought them down to the lab here. So it's a great collaborative environment for everybody to get together, share their skills, ideas, and knowledge, and create something awesome. So since we first met, it's been really interesting. And of course, we've been uh, using what you call development boards. And that really gives us a lot of flexibility, not just to develop smart solder stations, but frankly, smart any industrial equipment. Yeah, I guess as a group, Nat, Ethan and I are currently finding out what parameters are probably the most useful to detect whether a filter needs to be changed or not. Yeah, so this is the um, solder filtration unit. And in here, there's an activated charcoal um, filter, which, you know, eventually gets contaminated with the fumes. A good filter would be within this range here, but then slowly over time, we know it's going gonna, it's gonna to start creeping up into the needed monitoring stages. Because it might be the case where you're using it, but there's gases that you're not even noticing that's creeping into your body. Now this is the central unit, so it, this is talking over Bluetooth low energy. So we're also sending some of the readings or we're requesting readings from this device to the sensor. We know the sensor is ideally located in this bit of the, the, the microcontroller, but what we're worried about is the fact that if we actually locate it like this, lint might actually build up upon it and therefore it might be give us false readings in the future. So today we managed to have a play around the writing the code for the Nikola Sense and managed to get some graphs and values to see how the sensors are actually getting the values from pressure and from air quality. So what's been really intense about today is that we've just obviously been doing a little bit of homework, we've understood some of the basics, but really this has been a test of making sure it actually works when we sit down and try and make it all come together. It's credit to the team that we've advanced so quickly uh, in just a day's work. And it's great to see us taking a customer problem and a pain point, thinking about a solution, designing it, pulling together the pieces that we need to fit together, building those blocks and then testing it with a view that we can then hopefully get it out to market and help our customers be more sustainable. Mm -hmm.